In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, there seems to be a central theme that's been occurring within the Gospel lesson readings for these past couple of weeks. And that central theme is prayer. More directly, that theme is the prayer we know as the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. It's a prayer that's rooted in Scripture and a prayer that draws its basis from both the gospel that we heard last week and the gospel that we heard this week. Last week, as Jesus was entering a certain village that we know today as the city of Janine, the gospel says that there were ten lepers who were there crying out to Jesus, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And then this morning, as Jesus, we heard about Jesus coming near to Jericho one day, later on in his journey towards Jerusalem, the gospel says that he encountered a certain blind man who was begging on the side of the road. And when that man heard the crowd of people passing by him, he found out that that was Jesus of Nazareth that was coming. And so he also cried out, like those ten lepers we heard of last week, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And then there's one other place in the Bible where a different individual uses the same type of prayer. We always hear about that individual at the beginning of the three-week time period, which is called the Triodion, which takes place just prior to the, the beginning or the commencement of Great and Holy Lent. The Gospel on that Sunday is about a man who is called a publican, who was found praying in the temple, along with another man who Jesus says was a Pharisee. There we learn that that publican, acknowledged by society as a tax-collecting thief, and as a terrible sinner, he was in the, in the temple praying the same way as both the ten, ten lepers and also the blind man that we heard about in the gospel today, saying, God, beating his chest, really, and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. It's from these three verses in the Bible that we get the Jesus prayer that we're all so familiar with. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. We heard it last week in the Gospel. We heard it today, this week, in the Gospel. And we will hear it again on February 25th in preparation for Great and Holy Lent. So I think it's appropriate that we talk about prayer today, and especially about the importance of that particular prayer, the Jesus prayer, and about the benefit that this prayer offers to us as Orthodox Christian, and really to anyone who takes advantage and puts into practice that prayer in their everyday life. First of all, regarding prayer in general, St. Paul says that we're all called as Christians to pray without ceasing and to be consistent in our prayer. So in that sense, from a Christian perspective, the importance of prayer in our life is really something that is as necessary to us as the very air that we breathe. Prayer for us, according to St. Paul, must become a way of life, a way that sustains our life. 
It's as essential to our lives as the very process of breathing itself. And about prayer, Jesus Christ himself says that prayer should be simple. And he gave us the Lord's Prayer. And that prayer should be consistent. He said that we are to ask, and it will be open to us. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will open to all of your needs. And he also said that prayer should be sincere and full of belief. And he told the disciples in Jerusalem that whatever you ask in prayer, believing it, you will receive it. So prayer is an integral part of who we are as Christians. And for centuries, the Jesus prayer has been used by the church to help give us Christians a focal point in our life. And that prayer is, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The prayer is simple. The prayer is personal. The prayer is clear. And the prayer is rooted in Scripture. And the prayer is designed to express the faith and the belief which comes from the sincerity of our heart. The belief that Jesus Christ is our Lord and that he is our God and that he is our Savior. And it's for that reason that the Jesus prayer is often referred to as the prayer of the heart. And if, you, if it's used in a consistent way, on a consistent basis, this prayer, along with all other prayers offered by the church, and along with regular participation in the holy sacraments of the church, the Jesus prayer can and will offer life-changing benefits for all those who faithfully utilize the prayer. Because the prayer has the potential to help us stay focused on the goal of living a holy, a righteous, and a spiritual way of life. The prayer is designed to help bring us into a deeper and a more personal relationship with our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to also help bring us into a closer relationship with our fellow human beings living in this world, which according to the words of Jesus himself is imperative to leading a righteous and a holy way of life. Jesus said that we are called to love our neighbors as ourselves, including those who are kind to us and those who may not be so kind to us. Jesus said that we are to love our enemies and that we are to do good to those who hate us or those who despise us or those who even persecute us. The practice of the Jesus prayer is the answer to how we can practically accomplish that seemingly impossible commandment from Jesus. So with the regular practice of this prayer, invoking the name of Jesus Christ as the Son of God, it will help lead us towards a life of forgiveness and a life of compassion for others around us and a life which produces gladness in our hearts rather than sadness and a life which transforms any anger which we might feel towards the world or anyone living in the world into a life of peace and into a life of harmony with others. Because, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that's the power of prayer. And that's the power that the ten lepers recognized in the gospel lesson last week 
And that's the power that the blind man recognized in the gospel we heard about this week. And that's the power that we can all tap into if we truly take advantage of this one simple prayer which is offered to us by our Holy Church. And if we utilize it on a regular basis as we navigate the sometimes smooth and the sometimes rough waters of our life. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.